Good evening. This is 9 o'clock on November 6th, 2022. Thank God the election will be over soon, right? So I've been going over in my mind. I got hired at JSO, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, in May of 75. I think I was uh, 21 years old. And I worked NCIC and uh, worked the shifts, 3 to 11, 11 to 7, and 7 to 3. And you followed your group. Um, I was a newbie. In August of 75, I had an apartment. I think I had a puppy. I was taking criminal justice courses to get my associate in science or my associate in arts majoring in criminal justice. And the way it worked, when they wanted everybody to have a two-year degree that worked at the sheriff's office, that was what I said, well, this will help me move up. So I'll get my degree. And it was at Florida Community College. They have a south side branch, a riverside branch, a north side branch, and a downtown branch. Um, they even have some over on Southside Boulevard. But anyway, so how did that work? If you're working 3 to 11, 11 to 7, 7 to 3, well, I remember we had a Dr. Shepard. You would have a morning class or an evening class. So if you worked from 3 o'clock in the afternoon to 11 o'clock at night, you just simply make yourself get up early in the morning to go get your 8 or 9 o'clock class. Um, if you work 7 to 3, you'd go in the evening class. Or if you worked, um, let's see, 7 to 3, 3 to 11 morning, and then, uh, let's see, 7 to 3, 3 to 11, and 11 to 7. So two of the times you could take morning class, one of the times you take evening class, whichever you're following classes. So I'm a newbie. I just got on in May. I have to learn all signal 10, signal 7, 10, 25, or 10, uh, signal 7, 10 4, 10 9, 10 9 Mary's song called repeat, you know. Um, I'm at 10 42 in the house, meant they took a break and were at their home. Anyway, so I'm learning NCIC, I'm learning all this stuff. I'm young, I'm 21 years old. Um, Bundy was captured in Murray, Utah. Had no clue, didn't have a clue, didn't see the newspaper article. I had a puppy, I'm taking college courses, and I have an apartment. I didn't take a subscription to the newspaper, didn't see the newspaper unless I went out of my way to, sometimes I would purchase one. We had our own troubles. Uh, we had a skin diver at Mayport, and he was putting his equipment in his navy blue van, and two guys attacked him, and eviscerated him, and he had his intestines hanging out. He had to crawl to the guard station somehow, getting all that crap inside his chest and his abdominal cavity. And he was saved, and the doctor was saying they hoped they had gotten all the twigs and stuff out so he would not get septus and die. They never found the two guys that took his van. Several years later, he saw somebody filling up his van. He was in another vehicle, and he saw it. This isn't even on. Is it on? Yeah, okay, it's on. I don't know if it's on. I hope it's on. I wasted all that talk time, and nothing's on. Okay, so anyway, I hope it's on. Anyway, um, we had our own nightmares. So I'm working 3 to 11, 11 to 7, 7 to 3. Don't take the paper. Uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, they might have said on the evening news, someone named Ted, Ted has been located, and they went on to story. So man has killed 12, with this suspected of killed multiple people in the Northwest. Didn't see that. Did see the newspaper article, and it would have just been one or two blips on the nightly news and maybe in the Times Union. Didn't see it. Nobody talked about it. It was not, oh, we're Jackson. We're hearing all this stuff. No. We had our own nightmares. Um, so I didn't see that. It wasn't until 78 that I saw it, and I'd always known him as Theodore. Another thing is, if somebody said, what was this guy's name? I said, it was Theodore Bundy. Um, he was a weirdo that picked us up when we were trying to pretending to hitchhike at the school. And, um, you know, that's when I ran down to Mrs. Davis's and I had the newspaper and it had the 10 most wanted thing and it had all those little odd pictures of him. I said, that's him. That's the guy I was around him for 10 or 15 minutes. Um, Mrs. Hogue had sold the home at some time in 75, 76. So they weren't around. Nobody came and said, oh, that's the guy. Nobody said that. It wasn't until 78 that I recognized him. Okay. Thank you.